Hey class, uh, this uh, video is a short lab on how to turn in the user testing survey results. Um, hopefully it'll be uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't cover this in the other video, so I'm basically just going to talk about um, where, how to get the results and add them into an open lab post and then submit. So it should be uh, pretty straightforward. Um, anyway, we're going to start on the open lab. We're going to make a new post here. Uh, make sure you're logged in and then just click new post that'll take us over to the editor um, i guess we always have to choose a category um, you can call this a blog assignment it's not really a production assignment um, it doesn't really matter that much anyway so we're going to call this user testing uh, results um, and we can add in the name of the game that it's for uh, just to make it a little more specific um, for my game. I never, still haven't actually given my game a name, so um, you can just fill in the name of your game there. Um, anyway, we're just gonna show the results here. So uh, just write a little intro sentence here. Here are the results of my user testing survey. So um, ultimately the goal is to identify three things that we're gonna work on for the final project. Um, so those should be based on uh, things that people say in the user survey. Um, you, we probably, you should have at least five to 10 questions. So you don't have to show all of the results here, but maybe just highlight some things that are interesting um, or that stand out. So like, you know, one of the questions is like, if you didn't reach the end, why not? If everybody reached the end, then we probably don't need to include that in the survey results. Um, anyway, we wanna take a look at those results. So we're gonna go over to our Google form um, so you can just click on the form if you remember, um, if you have the link, I'm just going to go over to uh, my forms. Um, I have to actually open a different account. Um, here we go. Um, and so here's the user testing for my game. Here's the form that I created, but we're going to go over to responses. And we're just going to take a look at the um, some of the quantitative results that we got first. So we had a few different charts. Um, they're all pretty straightforward. I'm going to screenshot these so I can put them in the open lab post. Um, so for the Mac, uh, I just want to get like, you know, the, the little area, not the whole thing. So I'm going to do um, command shift four, and that gives me this like little target guy. And then um, you can get the outside or not. Um, I'll just get this inside here so we don't have like those borders and just take a little screenshot and that's going to show up on my desktop so I'll just leave it there for now um, and we can look at the results so uh, it was easy most people th thought it was easy to figure it out most people didn't respond to this question um, which makes sense because most people thought it was easy uh, not sure what these responses are um, anyway, now we have rate the difficulty. Um, and so uh, we can see, you know, it, it's more on the more difficult side with five being the most difficult. So let's take a screenshot of that. That might be worth um, including. How long was your gameplay um, split between five to 10 minutes and more than 20 minutes? So that's kind of interesting. Nobody was less than five minutes, so that's good. Um, you could also include stuff that's good, you know, just to say, like, I'm happy that, um, you know, nobody took less than five minutes. Did you reach the end of the game? Most people did, so that's also good. Take a screenshot. So, you know, this is something that you might not need to include, but um, feel free to also include it. And then we have some qualitative responses, so we'll get to that in the next section. So let's add in some of these images and then um, just like put a comment um, with them. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, so playability, uh, uh, most uh, users were able to play the game. So the one person who said they couldn't figure it out didn't really say why, so it's not super useful. But if they did, you might want to elaborate on that. Um, I also just like wrote in random results. So I think that, you know, they're not real results. So, um, so rate the difficulty, uh, the game appears to be on the more difficult 
side of things. You know, that could be good or bad, so uh, you don't necessarily have to um, change anything if you're happy with that. Um, so then another way besides dragging and dropping, because when you drag and drop, you have to get this like blue line. You kind of have to get it in exactly the right place. Um, if you're having trouble with that, you can create a new block. Um, so actually, how do I create a new block? Oh, you hit enter, then you'll get a plus button. So you can just use the plus button. I think we've gone over this before, but just in case um, we forgot, you can upload an image. These are on my desktop. Um, so how long was the gameplay? Okay, so then we can say after this, I'm happy that everyone was able to play for longer than five minutes. Okay, so that's good. You know, just talking about um, what we see in these results. And then we have one more image, how many people got to the end of the game. Um, I would ideally like this to be higher. Um, so I might be curious to know, uh, maybe it is a little too difficult. So I can say, you know, ideally all players will finish the game. Maybe it is a bit too difficult. Okay. All these results were just random things that I plugged in, so it's not really real, but I'm just kind of like going over like what I might say with these results. Okay, so we've got all our images. That looks pretty good. Um, we can preview this if we want to uh, preview it real quick. Um, and then I didn't really write a lot in the feedback section. Hopefully you guys will get more feedback that you can talk about for the qualitative results. Um, but let's take a look at uh, what we would see necessarily. So. Um, why did you reach the end of the game? So if a lot of people didn't and they wrote more than just blah, blah here, they might say like, you know, I lost at this specific point or I couldn't get past this. So that would be a good thing to capture. Like I need to adjust this part of the scene so that people can get past it. Um, one of the questions I did, one of my fake questions was, was the story clear? Um, these are some fake responses. Um, I don't remember writing this. I think that... <laughs> Uh, must have been somebody from the class, which is pretty funny. Uh, somebody wrote, this is the most beautiful and heart-wrenching story I've ever experienced in any game or piece of media. It gives a lot of perspective about, yeah. Uh, so I think this is a, somebody must have, I don't remember writing this unless I just bl blanked out when I was writing that, but that's pretty funny. Um, so people seem to like the story, except for this person who just wrote blah, blah. So I might not comment on that, but if somebody had written like, you know, I like the story, but I didn't understand like why you did X. I might make some commentary about that. Um, and then any thoughts for the comments for the game designer? Hopefully people will write more than just blah, blah here on your results. So you can kind of summarize that. Um, somebody said, you know, I wrote as a joke, make more levels. I think the same person who wrote this said get greatest game I've ever played. Um, hopefully you'll get more like, you know, constructive criticism so you can come up with things. Anyway, so we want to summarize some of the qualitative feedback. So um, let's pretend that, you know, somebody said like a lot of people um, said that the story was good, but they, you know, didn't understand the ending or something like that. I could say uh, users commented that the story started good, but they didn't understand the ending. So just like summarize, you don't have to say everything that people wrote, but just kind of give a sense of what some of the um, qualitative feedback was. Um, so the main thing at the end is to list three things that you want to improve for the final. So three things I would like to improve for the final are, and let's use a little list here. Um, so let's say I want to make it a little less difficult so people can finish the game. The game a little less difficult. Um, what else could I glean from this feedback? Uh, make more levels. Uh, well, you have to make more levels, so you can't you can't use that as one of your things. Okay, uh, I will um, try a new ending for the story. And you know, maybe if like somebody commented like this character um, was you know. Uh, the graphics didn't really make sense or they said like this character why is this character you know wearing uh ice skates when they should be wearing you know boots or something like that so we could say i am going to rework the art for the uh 
main character. So just give a sense of like what your goals are to improve for the final project. They should be three. Um, we might actually change this list to a one, two, three list. And that's basically it. If you just have your results and your three things that you want to change um, or improve, that's everything you need to do. Um, so then you can publish this and you'll get a link. So when I publish, it's taking a bit longer than usual. But along with that link, I do want you to send the form. OK, so you're going to have to send a few things. Um, so the link to the post. So let's go to view post. Um, the form and then also the itch um, game that you made. So I'm going to go to my itch page and find, uh, oh, I'm in a different one. I'm going to log out of here and log into my BMCC one. Uh, hopefully I remember the password for this. Nope. Okay, good. Um, so here's my game that I created. Um, so this is the link that I need. So you need all three of these links for this assignment. So just so you, uh, just to kind of go through everything, I'm gonna log into Blackboard real quick and pretend that I'm a student. Um, so I'm gonna go to our class and switch on the student preview. And so I'll go to assignments. I will go to user testing and in my submission, I need all three links. So uh, you can say my survey and grab the link to the survey. So just copy the link from here. Um, and if you want to be fancy and make it so that I can click on it, that would be appreciated. Make it open a new frame. Okay, so my survey, my uh, results, and so the results should be a link to um, this post on the Open Lab. Okay, so mine is published right now. I'm going to unpublish it um, after this, but it's there now. So then just a link to your Open Lab, and I can add a link in here as well. Um, this isn't necessary, but it will make my life slightly easier. And then finally, a link to your game on itch. Um, so I can see that that's working, uh, my game on itch, and then just post that there. Um, and so that's everything that you need to do so you can submit once you've done that. That's uh, basically it. So um, there are three different components to this assignment, which is why I wanted to go over how to submit it. Um, hopefully you've got everything together, but if you need help with that, just let me know and we can go over it. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in class.